Okay, everybody. Well, whatever you're watching from around the world, good day and thank you very much for watching. Liam Harfi here and today I'm just going to share a little something with you that might help you in your life to be a healthier, happier and more fulfilled version of yourself living your best life that's possible for anyone and it's possible for you as well as i always say i'm not a perfect person but i have been very very blessed to learn from some of the most successful people on the planet about how they've become the best version of themselves not just money and fame but a lot more than that a lot deeper than that and today one of the things i'm just going to share with you is about um constructively using your emotions uh mastering our emotions you know it's something you may have heard before but you probably won't have heard it like this so when i deal with very successful people you know a lot of a lot of people on here know me for uh interviews or photography around champions some of the best people like tyson fury floyd mayweather people in the olympics you know all that type of thing and one of the lessons i've learned from spending time around a lot of these elite people is they have pretty much exactly the same emotions that you do, that I do, everyone we know does. These include fear, anxiety, um, despair, you know, unhappiness, just as much as they include joy, happiness, fulfillment, bravery, you know, all these, all these different things on the spectrum of emotions that people can feel. Successful people feel them just as much as you or me. The difference is they handle them better they handle them differently so for example you know a very important one is is fear i was speaking to um, a great guy on my podcast recently about this called tony johnson uh two-time champion in mixed martial arts and tony johnson and myself were talking about this on my podcast to see some of these inspiring interviews please check out my podcast at simply inspired uh anyway and we were talking about this he was talking about the fear of failure a lot of people have the fear of failure. Some people let it stop them. Some people do not. Tony was talking about how he has overcome the fear of failure. And more importantly, when he has failed, how he's bounced back from it to succeed again, which he obviously has done being two-time world champion. But you don't have to be a master athlete to apply this. Anybody in any walk of life can apply this. It's all about acknowledging our emotions first not dwelling on them just acknowledging them so many people actually deny that they feel a particular thing oh no i'm not afraid of that oh no i'm not anxious about that oh no i'm not really angry at that person uh, i'm trying to forgive them whatever but we are all feeling some of these things deep down inside now as i mentioned not dwelling on it but just accepting that we feel that way in the first place and then deciding how we are going to handle it so for example great example the fear of failure the old saying everything you want is on the other side of fear when you feel fear the first thing you have to do is accept it not deny it not push it out of the way but actually think okay i do feel this how am I going to handle it? Am I going to back away? They say that fear can mean forget everything and run or face everything and rise. That's totally two different meanings, uh, totally different meanings, depending on how you choose to handle it. For example, that's a simple one. What a less successful person would choose to feel the fear and back away from it. A more successful person would choose to feel the fear and push through it and pierce through the emotion to get to what is on the other side of it okay so this obviously applies to you and, and your life and anything that you want in your life but it applies with other emotions as well anger you know that's a big one a lot of people try and suppress their anger uh, oh no i don't feel that way oh no you know I, I i forgive that person i don't hold it against them whatever obviously you shouldn't hold things against people but if you feel that way you'd be better off channeling your anger take the aggression put it into a fitness workout, put it into pulling together a, a uh, business plan for the business you want to put together, um, channel it into something that you can use it constructively for, go for, go for a run, um, do some writing, you know, whatever. You can channel it into something and actually use it as fuel, rather, or you can go out, um, I don't know, get drunk, fight people, get arrested, um, yeah, cause yourself loads of trouble, physical injuries, um shame of the things you say and do when you're angry uh no judgment i've done it too lots of times uh, they say that a moment of patience in a moment of anger prevents 1000 moments of regret you know if we actually stop acknowledge that we're feeling the emotion then decide what to do with the emotion constructively that is a lot better than denying that we feel the emotion whatsoever because 
one of the things is when we deny that we feel a certain thing, that emotion can't be repressed wherever you repress an emotion. It has to come out somewhere else. It has to come out with some other area of your life. Common one, people suppress a lot of anger, but then that can lead to depression. You know, um, it, it has to come out in a different way. Nothing can actually stay inside you forever. It has to come out in another channel. It's called sublimation. I believe you can check that out on Google. So, this is something I just wanted to share with you today. We all feel the same emotions. There's no shame in feeling these emotions. There's nothing wrong with feeling emotions, good, bad, or indifferent, but it's all about how we use them. Emotions are hardwired into our brains for survival. You know, it comes from evolution. We're never going to get rid of it, but it's all about how we choose to use it positively or negatively. And the thing is, so much motivation today focuses extensively on feeling positive, thinking positive, and everything which is great you should absolutely do that thinking positive um gratitude you know summoning positive emotions all of these things are fantastic but sometimes we all have days where we feel down where we don't want to go forward where we feel angry and pissed off where we feel worried and we're anticipating facing something and everybody feels this it's all about how you handle it and how you can either use it so it doesn't affect you or worst case scenario, or I could say best case scenario, is how you can use it to your advantage, rather than denying it, rather than trying to numb it, because that's the other thing, a lot of people try and numb their emotions with drugs, alcohol, gambling, you know, sex, all the, all the, the things that they warn us about when we're kids, basically, um, you know, and again, you know, I'm not saying those things shouldn't happen, they all have their place, but if they're being used to numb emotions, not a good thing, there's a better way to express or channel your emotions and that's the fundamental thing we all have them the only difference between somebody who's successful and by successful i mean somebody who is living their best life the best version of themselves is they have channeled or faced up to their emotions differently than somebody who's unsuccessful and somebody who hasn't achieved what they wanted somebody who hasn't found the happiness and the peace that they're looking for so it's a little something that would uh, hopefully help some of you watching this today Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to watch. For any more of this type of content, please follow me on social media, Liam Hartree, um, at Liam Hartree or lowercase on Instagram, or just search Liam Hartree on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, type my name into Google, whatever. Also, for more topics like this, uh, more things that can help you in your daily life, please subscribe to the Simply Inspired YouTube channel for inspirational interviews, inspirational content, um, lessons from some of the greats in life. Um, and there's a lot more content there uh, from before, and there'll be a lot more content coming soon. So stay tuned. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.